is peace in our time. <laughs> Mandra is an incredible place. I love going there. This little town, now a southern suburb of Perth, comprises almost 100,000 losers. That's right. Many apologies to all my friends and family who live in this place. But the town of Mandra is founded on absolute failures. Thomas Peel, who in 1829 attained a bunch of the land now known as the Peel region, including Mandra, has a life story that entails personal failure after personal failure. The characteristics that define this man of Ra was akin to rolling natural ones on all the stat determiners of a character loadout. This man attempted to become a Western Australian early colonist even though he had no leadership skills, no practical skills of any kind, and a personality about as attractive as a prospect of a tree destroying your home after a moderately hefty cyclone. Uh, yeah. You know, the damage to this house kind of makes me think of um, the personality traits of a dude named Thomas Peel. Yeah. See, the fallen tree represents his absolute failure as an individual. But yeah, uh, that's what I think anyway. That's what uh, me losing my home feels like. It feels like Thomas Peel, just generally as a person. Yeah. Yeah. In spite of acquiring land, which was considered by the local Bibbulmun people to be particularly flourishing, dubbing it Manja or meeting place, he still failed to make any returns on his land of Mandra losing many servants and colonists to his personality, which I can only assume from the description of the books, was remarkably akin to the adolescent child of an Eshe and an emo. Mr. Pill, sir, you gotta come quick. Someone's raiding our food stores. I can't. F*** off. It's all pointless, but... But, sir, it's an emergency. It can't wait. Oi, I said get out of my f***ing cottage. Wait, before you go, you got any chewing tobacco bar? In 1837, there were only 12 people in Mandra. The place was an abject failure. And look how far it has come. We make fun of Mandra's odd building placement, with McDonald's next to Methadomes and all that. But when you factor in the situation that Mandra had started in, its beginnings that were not even humble, simply crude, then this outer suburban town feels a lot nicer. And nowadays, it is getting a lot better. Marky Boy McGowan's government is recruiting 1,100 new police officers, duplicating the $55 million Mandra Estuary Bridge to reduce congestion, construction of the $82 million Lakelands train station, and that doesn't even include the various changes to education that is occurring. I will admit, Mandra is moving along a lot better than it did in the 1800s, with progress being extremely slow even after Peel's death in the 1860s. But I wouldn't forget your past, Mandra. This may be newly found knowledge for me, given I had read a single chapter about it in a book at a local library and cross-checked it with Wikipedia again. But nevertheless, I will pretend this is widely known history and cannot be erased. Mandra is a town founded by losers. Don't forget it. Now subscribe. Yeah.